Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to The Sims 4. Last time, Elsa almost killed herself by crashing our rocket into the ground upon return. She was not able to fix some damage to it, and it was not suitable for landing. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, and all of my kids are still awake, of course. <laughs> Laurel is practicing her programming. Elsa is taking care of the terrible twins. And honestly, the rest of you, you need to go to bed. Can you have Elsa put you to bed? And of course, the monster is still there. Of course. Actually, Borenson, can you talk to the monster? Laurel can now mod her video games. Of course, Borenson was unsuccessful. Uh, get your dad to spray the stuff. Yeah, that's right. Spray it, Hamilton. Spray that bastard. See if he remembers you from when you were a kid. Don't wake the butler up. It's impossible to keep any of these people on a straight schedule. Got no mail. Study. Rye, is that you out there? Are you leaving ghost poops too? Large pet poop. Okay, um... You put Jade to bed afterwards. Unless you're already doing that. You put... Or not. Rock has acquired the potty skill. So proud of you. Taking care of it on your own. Rye! The best dog we ever had. At least the dog with the most personality. Pet care. You gonna go say hi to your friend? Yeah. And filthy, stinky dog again. Oh, in love with a ghost. That's brutal. And of course, nobody puts the toddlers to bed like I told them to. Can you? Uh, can you just not reach it? Like, did I put the beds too close together or something? I think I did. Here. Teleport. Maybe we're trapped here because Borenson's in the way. I don't understand. Borenson. I feel like I have to restart the game every other video or so. Or the Sims start acting really we weird. Damn it. And he's just playing on the toilet, apparently. God damn it. I mean, okay, you don't care that your toddler brother is in here? Hamilton needs to go punch that. No, we're not punching anything. We're going back to the rocket. It's already built! We need to get that ion defense system up and going. Sad... Because of the dumb holiday. No, I don't need to save the game. And seriously. What, what do you want to come inside, you little crack baby, and go to bed? How do I get either of you asleep? I mean, it, let me place the beds there, right? I thought that it might work. It did not. How about like that? Hmm. It's missing something. One of these. 
back, turn it around like that. Okay, you go to bed there. I know you bastards can go up the stairs. Don't act like you can't. I don't have this locked to anybody. I mean, we've seen them go up and down the stairs. I'm starting to get kind of irritated. <laughs> it's a toddler bed. I'm like 90% sure I bought one. Why? Why must you fucking torment me? Like, that'll just get in the way of everything. Hmm. Maybe both sides of the bed need to be open. Or maybe I didn't read specific enough, and, uh... These aren't tod toddler beds after all. Go to bed. Go to bed. Wouldn't think this would be so difficult. I'm gonna put the bed outside here in a second. Oh my god, we actually got one. Okay. Carry rock there now. Now that I've wasted four hours tonight... Trying to figure out how beds work. Really? Rye? Bubbleus, Bubbleus should be getting some attention from that. Okay, I think we've got all that taken care of. Let's continue with the ion cannon, maybe. Elsa is very sad. From losing a friend. Who could that have been? Who? Anita, maybe? And need a boil. Nobody was sad when Rai died, unfortunately. Bjorn Bjergensen. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Of course. Stinky old pancakes. How do pancakes even go bad? Shouldn't it take days for them to dry up and become worthless? Hamilton is expected at work for the next shift. Elsa, you definitely need to go, even though we need to raise your fitness skill at some point. Hamilton, you have work in three days. And it's getting harder and harder for me to justify sending him. Seriously, we don't need to be sad. Suppress that sadness. We're 50% done with the ion cannon. Another 12 hours of work at this rate. Page. I'm gonna have cake for breakfast. I like how those two are kind of color coordinated, both wearing green. Kind of. <laughs> My eyes might be lying to me. Laurel can now make viruses. She can also hack school if she was a teen. Uh, I think you're done. You are done hacking. So, she needs to get one more level in mischief. And then she can work on getting promoted again. She's an oracle. I would like to see her max out her career as well before she dies, but... Who knows? Don't mourn Rosie. There's no reason for mourning the dead. They're already gone. She's almost as quick as Hamilton, even without magic. Okay. So...
Medieval castle. Medieval castle. I guess it doesn't care. Start working on that carefully. Why not? You in love with this rocket too? It is a beauty. And as soon as we get these guns installed, she's going to be even more glorious. Hamilton feels fine -ish. Let's see, she can get more satisfaction from playing on a pirate ship jungle gym. We can now build and upgrade faster. Oh, you finished your homework, did you? Well, no naps for you since you wanted to stay up all night talking to your pet monster. The Summer Spirit Festival, 4700 We're making less money. Like $150 less than before. So, that rocket upgrade is complete. I think Hamilton is going to go to space. We'll let him eat some cake. It's the family's favorite food. It started, uh... Young, early on in their lives. Right around the time they were having birthdays for some reason. Go to space. And... Well, I think about it. Laurel, you need to cancel some services for us. Let's cancel the maid service and... We're gonna hire a nanny service to come help with the toddlers. Very angry. How about... A nanny. Asteroid approaching. An asteroid is rocketing towards the planet. What is Hamilton going to do? We're going to blast it. We've got the ion cannons, don't we? Mayaki Yamamoto. Okay. See if uh, Laurel will get you some food. You angry little... Little punk. The asteroid shatters into fragments, which burn up harmlessly into the atmosphere. Hamilton is able to grab some fragments that blasted loose. The nanny will be here soon. And Hamilton got a space rock. If the kids get taken away, it'll be terrible. But, I kind of do expect them to... Expect the rest of them to kind of help Hamilton raise things. I mean, we've got a butler... We've got Laurel, we've got Elsa, we've got the maid now, or not the maid, the nanny. We've got the ghosts, even though maybe I should spend more time summoning them. Back to space we go. It beats pushing paperwork all day in the office, pinning photos to corkboard. Reach for the moon. Hamilton has his sights set on the moon. Let's land on it. Why not? Paige's creative faculties are progressing nicely. <sighs> Touchdown. The beagle has landed. Hamilton is now safely on the moon. Should he send out the scientific-looking probe or get out there and explore the surface? He's going to explore it on his own, obviously. Hamilton is attempting to take one small, small step but for unknown reasons is unable to take that step. Stomping, waving his arms, and shouting at the sky, though standard protocol, are proving ineffectual. It appears a small rock is in the way. Hamilton cannot reach the surface. Wonderful. Our door is jammed. Can't open it far enough to squeeze out. Push-ups. Rosa Diaz. I don't know if she's the Rosa Diaz we work with or if she is the doppelganger. Paige can now draw a new image, can tell make-believe story to other sims, and can daydream. And she's far more focused on finishing her project than Borenson was. Once she sets her mind to something, damn it, she follows through until it's done. Extra credit has been awarded. Okay. 
So how much did that destroy you? Not much, actually. The nanny came and made breakfast for everyone? Why don't you do that, butler? She's feeding the toddlers? Amazing. You're the nanny we hired before, aren't you? I thought I recognized that name. It's just chips. The one doing push-ups struts by feeling confident. Having worked out in front of everyone. Nice project. We'll put it... It's a shame we can't put it on top of the pillar there. can go right there. Maybe we'll put some shrubs and rocks around it. Make it look like a castle keep right there. Okay, Elsa, you are taking care of your needs, even though you're about ready to pass out again. You've only got 900 satisfaction, so I can't buy her the ability to sleep less. Mm. Portside Avenue 63, that's here, isn't it? Hanging out with family. Bornson's confused. He didn't know his grandma's ghost could come out during the day. Well, that was a good mission. But Hamilton is a little bit uh, low on social. We need to steal it from someone. We've almost got our alignment all the way down. Are there any gnomes over here? Who are you? Have a near. I don't want to just drain a random person's social. Unless they're part of the gnomish mafia. Or if they're our butler who doesn't do anything anyways. Drain instant. We need social. So how, how close do you have to get, Hamilton? Just like that. Fool, negative 90. Let's drain hunger too, and then, um, well. Butler, assign. Oh, I could assign tasks, responsibilities. Maybe I should have checked that out at some point. I can't drain hunger. Too low. Hmm. Well. I think if I just practice it again one more time, my alignment will go down. Maybe. Maybe not. It was a nice idea, but we're just going to have to attack somebody. How about you, Bryant Hecking? Brant Hecking? I swear I've seen you walking around. Up and down in front of this place. You must be a neighbor, but... For now, you are going to be... Oh, we are already at max connect, or max alignment. Okay. So the question is, how do we bond fully with... Devart our, devote ourselves to the dark. Here we go. Ritual of Eternity. Ritual of Might and Ritual of Wealth. It doesn't really tell me what it does. So Ritual of Eternity, I'm guessing... Um... I would never die. I'm surprised it doesn't tell me if I hover over it. Ritual of Might. Hmm. I actually need to look that up. Hang on a second. Okay, I went and looked at what all of the upgrades did for max light level and max dark level. And honestly, I don't care for any of them. Um, so, Ritual of Eternity is... Uh, Immortality. You don't age, you don't die. Ritual of Might gives you the ability to kill somebody. I believe it said. And Ritual of Wealth gives you the ability to kill somebody. But uh, at the same time, you get 50,000 simoleons when you kill them. So it would be a quick way to get very rich. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
was tempted to go to the dark side, but none of the abilities at the max level really interest me. Nor do the abilities at the top of the light side, which basically is, uh... Well, what was it? It was something like, it, you could make people pregnant with just a spell. <laughs> something like that. As if we need more babies in this family at this point in time. The Romance Festival is in town. Well, I haven't went to any festivals yet, and I don't really intend on it. Install landing computer. Wormhole generator. Okay, Hamilton. It's time for you to go explore space. What are you doing? Fighting yourself? Yeah. I don't question her. Message for Hamilton as he's blasting off. Hamilton, come in. Commander Vanderwander needs his needs his help. There is a satellite out in orbit that is malfunctioning. Millions of Sims are complaining about their poor cell phone data coverage. They want to post pics of their food, their kittens, and their profound fortune cookies, but can't. The commander needs Hamilton to go take a look. It's a good thing you got me now. I'm setting a course for it. Commander Vander Wonderer or whatever. We arrive at the satellite and notice that it's covered in a light pink goop. Uh, try to clean it. We don't necessarily need to blow it up. A villa, another villa rail. I think that's a default Sims family. Surprisingly delicious. Hamilton suits up, opens the door, and floats toward the satellite. As he gets closer, Hamilton notices that there are... Sprinkles in the goop? What? Hamilton pulls out his space chamois and wipes some off. He sniffs it and then takes a taste. It's frosting. Hamilton takes the sample for lab analysis and then returns to the ship. Lab analysis and a snack, I might add. Uh, a big bunny. All of a sudden, Hamilton sees a big shadow. He quickly looks to see a giant pastry freezer bunny floating by. It looks like it has eyes focused on another satellite and starts to shoot pink frosting. Blast it! We're gonna make pastry... Pastry parts rain down across the planet. People the world over will be eating it like manna. Starvation will be at an all-time low. So we've got... We got a stinky toddler. Ion cannons are so cool, yes. Those amazing ion cannons blast off the pastry bunny's arm. A new arm starts to regenerate, but the bunny seems to have learned its lesson and floats off into space. Hamilton got more space debris. Did we get, like, a bunny part? So, more common space rocks. Electronic upgrade parts, common upgrade parts... The Excellence Bunny, which has nothing to do with the pink bunny that we just shot. Energizing Decor of Three. Hang on, game, I'm reading that. When slotted into the Celestial Crystal Crown, this crystal boosts charisma for children. Huh. Never seen that before. Interesting. It's kind of hoping for more, but whatever. Is that a stinky diaper that you just handed Hamilton? Hey, Mom. You know, we left your painting supplies upstairs if you ever feel like painting. But, what I'm thinking of, let's see, I needed to check this out. Assign task, management, fire, reprimand, responsibilities. You've got all the responsibilities. Visitors, assign task, prepare bar drink. Um, go cook a family meal. Yes. You are the stinky kid. 
Okay, we need to take care of our kids. I have to tell her to go cook a family meal? Jade is very hungry. Yes, I know. There's not much I can do about it. It's simply too much effort to take the kids to their high chair. Didn't we just pay you to cook a meal? And then you throw it on the ground? Uh. Are you playing chess or just chatting? Fight self. Not sure why she dislikes herself so much. Okay, Hamilton. Feed Jade some cereal. I don't think it matters what type of food you feed uh, your kids. It'd be kind of neat if it did. It's like sometimes I complain about this game being too easy and then other times I complain about it being obtuse, but... Imagine if you had to watch your kids' nutrition levels. Make sure they weren't just subsisting off of cake. Okay, everybody is stinky. Guess kids don't care. They're not going to get embarrassed if their siblings are in there. At least toddlers. Hamilton, you'll probably embarrass her. Toddler lesson. I know, we can teach our kids stuff. Hamilton never does, though. Take a shower. Every once in a while, he has to feel like a, an actual human. Attention, activity. It's important that we give this thing the attention it deserves. This thing could very well be smarter than the than the rest of us combined. We don't know what he's capable of. Even though he's trapped in here, he uh, still manages to do amazing things. When does he find the time? Here, there's a great party going on at the nightclub. No. We're not hanging out with Paul Blart right now. Hamilton's a rising star, and quite frankly, he doesn't want to be seen with Paul Blart. His reputation precedes him. Something's alive. Rattle, rattle, crash. Hamilton is on the way back from the Comet Esone Flea Market when he hears banging inside his rocket ship's cargo hold. He thinks back through recent salvage efforts. Nothing living, living certainly. Should Hamilton call out or try to take whatever it is by surprise? Take it by surprise, Hamilton. You're a detective. Get in there and muscle it down if you have to. This is your ship. And as the captain, by God, everything living on board has to follow your rules. Hamilton crashes through the whole door, shouting. Something small and orange scampers behind a crate. Scanning the room, Hamilton sees that a display for a taxidermied alien he found is empty. Don't hurt me, a tiny voice cries. Four eyes peek from behind the crate. Hamilton lowers his pipe. Okay, so we have an alien stowaway. Question is, can we bring it back? Somehow I doubt it. Shanice Trim. Another dead elder showing up at our house. Hamilton should have known that the alien statue was too good a bargain. The creature isn't dead. It's just a stupid juvenile that was dared by its big brother to pretend. Now it wants a joyride around the galaxy in a free lift home. Hamilton knows he could get charged with alien napping, but it's hard to refor refuse four pleading eyes. Okay, joyride it is. Hamilton knows what it's like to be a little bit rebellious. Lord knows he's seen enough of it in his family over the years. He can... He can understand. Also, Elsa, you're sleeping. 
Laurel sleeping. Yeehaw! Nothing like a wide-eyed kid to make Hamilton feel like a hero. Kicking his ship into hyper-warp, he blasts loops around planet to Mutu. Until suddenly lights appear in the distance. Space cops. Hamilton could pull over and try to explain. Or try to outrun them. Try to outrun them, Hamilton. Just because you are the law doesn't mean you have to obey the law. Especially that far out in space. I don't know if our ship's fast enough if it's got enough upgrades. What a day. Why slow down now? Fully engaging his thrusters, Hamilton easily ditches the patrol. Four eyes is over the literal moon with excitement, but Hamilton knows it's time to take his friend home. He even receives a nice reward from its mom as a thanks. What a crazy flea market day. Crazy flea market day, huh? Don't know if I've ever heard that saying before. So, the question is, what did we get? I don't see anything new. Anything with a star on it. Maybe we got items for the house? Decorative collectible plate. Hot and cold tech spec poster. Give focusing decor. So, so, I don't know what they gave us. I feel like I've had this happen a couple times. Did they give us a decorative plate? Hmm. Where would you even put something this silly? Where it doesn't feel like it's completely getting in the way. I think the answer is right here where it is. And we'll slap. We'll slap that little criminal poster up just for just for Laurel. She earned it for us, we might as well do something with it. Okay, Hamilton. Trying to take care of your kids. I think it's time to go ahead and end the video. I don't know if we're ever going to complete Hamilton's aspiration here. The reward trait would be companion. Hmm. We've still got 13 days until we're an elder, so we've got a little bit of time left. That might be enough time to reach level 10, but I kind of doubt it. Take a week per rank, and then we've got maybe five or six days as an elder if we're lucky. Rodent Rave. Bobolus is having a rave, apparently. The rodent is showing how far critters have come since the hamster dances of the audience. And with that, I'm out. I will see you guys next time.